This is a monkey tail skink. It's probably the most expensive reptile that I own, and I keep him and his girlfriend, who cost just as much, in the cheapest enclosure that I own. I'll tell you why. So I wanna say thank you to Zen Habitats for sending me an enclosure. It's four by four by two. This is not in any way sponsored by Zen Habitats. In fact, it's video sponsored by Into the AM, my favorite clothing company, but we'll get to that in a sec. And the reason that I'm doing the review on it is because, well, if they're going to send me an enclosure that costs a few hundred bucks, well, I'm gonna talk about it. And realistically, what we're trying to get to here is, is it worth the price? Should you buy one or should you just save up a couple hundred more bucks and go with somebody else? And really it comes down to what is it that you want? What is it that you expect? And what is it that you need? And by the way, I'm wearing gloves because the claws on this guy, good Lord, good Lord. Anyway, we're jamming the corner here because I want to be beside the enclosure. And also this guy is a little unpredictable. Sometimes he's a little bit flighty. And it looks like your girlfriend scratched you up a bit there, buddy. Didn't last very long that time. Sometimes I can get these guys out for an hour and they're totally fine. And sometimes he gets cantankerous after just a few minutes. And she is pregnant. Okay, let me explain. First of all, this is kind of all over the place. Monkey tail skinks are one of the coolest skinks in, on the planet. They're from the Solomon Islands. They have a prehensile tail and they are the biggest skink in the entire world. They have crazy claws. Like this is my hand just from handling him yeah, like this is several days ago, okay? His claws are absolutely insane, which is why I had gloves on. And even so, sometimes he thinks the gloves are food and they have some of the strongest jaws in the entire world of any lizard that isn't a monitor lizard, for example. They eat dense vegetation, sometimes very tough leaves and stems in the wild where they're from. They are herbivores. In captivity, I don't feed these guys the same sort of thing. You're gonna wanna feed these guys basically a spring mix, some maybe bell peppers, uh, arugula, Swiss chard, that's my favorite to feed these guys, mustard green, dandelion green, things like that. But sometimes they like to eat fingers because although they are smart, they're not that smart. And they sometimes will think that you are food and that can be a problem. And a special thanks to today's sponsor, Into the AM. I freaking love these shirts. They fit right, they feel good, I stay cool in here, right? They don't feel stuffy and boxing in. I don't know how I'm trying to describe it here. And they look super cool. Graphic tees usually like they feel weird on your body. These ones don't. And right now, if you go to intotheam.com slash WWR, you can get a discount just for using my code intotheam.com slash WWR. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. The very first sponsor I ever had and the only clothing that I wear that isn't my own brand. Thanks Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. Now these guys need a lot of space. Now most animals, or the animals that I talk about often, generally need things like a two foot by four foot long enclosure that's two feet deep too. So two foot deep, two foot tall, four foot long. Okay, that's what we have over here and we'll talk about these in a second. However, this is twice the height at four feet. And that's necessary because these animals are big, like I said, the biggest skinks in the world, and they're going to need lots of room to climb because they are an arboreal species. So that is why you need something that's a little bit bigger. The problem with well-made and light PVC enclosures is that they're expensive. So if you get something that's four feet tall, generally you're looking at not twice the price, but pretty darn close. It's gonna be more expensive. And we're talking about maybe up to $1,000 depending on the manufacturer. But you can get a Zen Habitats enclosure for much, much cheaper. So why? Well, they aren't as good at some things. And here are my gripes, and I'll tell you why you should or should not buy one. Let's just get to the point here. I have my most expensive lizards in this enclosure. So is it good enough? Well, yes, of course. It's an enclosure that is a box that is made of basically a very thin type of PVC that kind of snaps together. This is the Meridian version. So literally it just accordions up and then you put the sides in and that's it. Now my gripe with the construction like that, oh, by the way, it's plexiglass. Perhaps plexiglass isn't the best material for these lizards. For a snake, as long as you don't have the issue of having something between the plexiglass, which is gonna scratch the plexiglass itself, you'd be fine. But that's my, my gripe. Plexiglass warps and also it scratches very easily and it's difficult to get the scratches out. The great thing is shipping though, I will say. So when you get the box, it's not super big. It's not super heavy. I, got to br I could bring it downstairs easily myself. However, 
Just because something is easy doesn't mean that it's better. And my gripe is, although it is light and easy to assemble, it's very flimsy. I would not put a big snake in this enclosure. The aluminum framing where the, the joints meet up, it'll start to separate and then you can have where the PVC panels pop out. So after some wear and tear, especially if you're having a lot of humidity and warping and things like that, perhaps, uh, maybe the integrity won't be there. Now I've only had this enclosure, I guess for, I guess it's been together since about December. So we're talking about four or five months now and it's held up great. And there is a humidifier and I missed the crap out of this thing and there's a heat light and the whole thing and it's held up great. However, if I push on the back of that enclosure, it rattles around like there's an earthquake going on. So if you are looking for say a ball python, you or a bearded dragon or something like that that's not very strong that could use the height especially if it's a bearded dragon, I think this would be an amazing enclosure for a bearded dragon. They would be fantastic, right? It has the top for ventilation, has the whole thing. But if you want an enclosure that you could keep basically anything in, a very strong bow constrictor, something like that, I would go with maybe something that holds humidity better. So it doesn't have screen mesh on the very top of it. Something that you can maybe drill into the sides too, because that's the other thing. If I were to drill, like perches into the side of this enclosure, they would not hold a, a heavy constrictor. There is zero chance. They wouldn't even hold a monkey tail skin. Everything that you see in here is propped up and placed so that like within the enclosure, there's no screws in the sides because it is such wildly thin material, which works for a bearded dragon or something, but it wouldn't work to actually screw branches into. Where with my other PVC enclosures that have much thicker, much more durable, much better quality PVC, well, you can screw things into them and the integrity is not gonna, like it's not gonna rip out of the PVC or crack the PVC where this definitely will. However, monkey tail skinks, I think are the perfect lizard for an enclosure of this size, four by two by two, simply because, well, they are beautiful, they're amazing. So they actually stand out against the background. Don't get me wrong, I think a plain black or plain white background is much more aesthetic. And I know that Zen is starting to do black as their color, which I think is gonna sell way better because this looks like a 1980s station wagon. I'm not a fan of the color at all. However, all of this being said, I'm being pretty harsh. It's hard to go to this from that. Zen was kind enough to send me a free enclosure for a review and I respect that and I appreciate it. And it saved my butt because when I got these skinks, I was supposed to have another cage manufacturer send me an enclosure. I still haven't got it yet. So, Zen came through and that's what I'll say about Zen. Their customer service is top notch. Absolutely amazing. They say they're gonna send something, it comes. Well, except for the litter guard that I still haven't got yet, but neither here nor there, you guys are busy. More or less, uh, don't expect this thing to be waterproof out of the box. The gaps between the material are like, you can't even silicone them there so much, but they do sell like, I, I think it's called a litter guard or whatever, I don't know. I was supposed to get sent one, it's Canada, it's hard to ship things here, I totally get it. But it's like a litter tray, you put that in there and then it becomes waterproof. So you need one of those, in my opinion. So let's suppose that you drive around a Porsche, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, for as long as you have your driver's license, right? I'm talking about I have the best manufactured PVC enclosures on the planet that I've ever tried and I've tried them all. And now I'm going to something that's flimsier, cheaper, etc. It's not cheaper because they're making less profit or less margin. It's cheaper because they use cheaper material and the build quality is less. That's it. But we need that in the marketplace. Not everybody has five, six, seven hundred bucks for a four by two by two. Some people need enclosures that are of a certain quality that may be not the best quality, but get the job done. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I don't want you to think that I'm crapping on Zen. I'm just saying that if you're looking for a Lamborghini, this ain't it, it ain't it. However, just because those are better doesn't mean that these don't have a place. So Zen, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You saved my bacon. I have a great enclosure for these animals. And when the enclosure that I am supposed to be getting does show up, I will definitely be putting these guys into it because it is bigger and I'll be putting the Fiji Bano to go on in here. So I kind of actually did a switcheroo on you because these used to be my most expensive reptiles, but now my Fiji Bano iguana is, and guess what? As soon as these guys get evicted for a bigger enclosure, well, the Fiji Bano iguana is going in here. So yeah, I have a lot of criticisms and I have high, high standards and this enclosure just is different than what I'm used to, but I'm still putting expensive reptiles in it. So if I can put, you know, a $3,000 lizard in it, 
Of course, it's going to house a bearded dragon that you rescued on Craigslist for 17 bucks. No problem whatsoever. Just know that it has limitations and know to manage your expectations of the product. And I will say, you can actually expand these things. So you can get expansion kits, make them taller, make them wider. I don't know of any other company that does that. So there are things that Zen can do that other companies can't. It's all about what you need. You don't buy a Ferrari to start a drywall company, right? And you don't race a GMC Sierra. So it just depends. Pick what is right for you and what you need for the right application. And for monkey tail skinks, well, their claws are too much. They actually scratch the plexiglass. But for a Fiji Banner Iguana, for example, this is a good enough enclosure, definitely, in my opinion. Also, Zen, thank you. Like, again, just, I, I know I was pretty harsh on you, but if you want one, there is a link in the description below, an affiliate link. So I do get a little kickback if you buy from that link, but I'd appreciate it if you do. And if you want to give them a chance, they are definitely the more affordable option of all the PVC enclosure manufacturers out there. That's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you hitting the like and subscribe button. It changes the way this channel goes out. It honestly does so much, just you clicking those buttons. And a special thank you to the Patreon supporters. I appreciate you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Thanks for all you do. You get discounts on merch, a whole bunch of stuff, extra footage from Madagascar and of chameleons and eggs. And this egg season is getting wild. Anyway, for as little as a dollar a month, you get all that and more. And that's it. Because I do videos on Mondays and Thursdays. That means I'll see you in the next one.